Hi, good morning, everybody. Hi, good morning. We are the farms. We are the mooring of fields. We'll be showcasing you the new branding today. Incidentally, uh, when we started farm, sometime that you have been working on the new branding, new branding, and uh, live one. So we'll take you through why why the new branding and stuff. So let me uh, give a little history about. How this started off, when this started off, and stuff. I know many of you all know it, but for guys who are following us new, so two brothers organic farm uh, was born. I think around five six years back when we started farming. Uh, at that time, we wanted uh, a, a name that represented the brand. So we went in for Amore Earth. Amore means love. Earth means soil. So basically, the brand meant love soil, and uh, we introduced it. We had no research. We had no background. We had no study. on uh, why you know the name and why this and the colors and everything that worked well for us you all took it up nicely gave us a very good response i understand the product quality inside was nice uh, the philosophy of farming was the something you all loved and uh, the brand and and the product and uh, you know uh, everything just progressed well you know but it came to a point where now we have close to uh, 50 55000 unique customers across 45 countries in the world and this all grew organically because you all you all loved it and uh, took it up and supported us in what we were doing and then many people started giving us the feedback as to why two names two brothers organic farms is the farm and why amorot is the brand and you know and it started started getting clearer to us that why two names uh, you know let's now since we have this customer base we know you know who is our consumer we know so many things that we have learned in the last 5 6 years we decided to declutter we decided to minimize we decided to make it very simple in terms of identifying our product our farming practices and our farm that we represent and that's how we decided to you know shift away our more earth and get in two brothers organic farms to the front of pack and uh, make it the single identity of the brand so the previous brand did serve us very well this is the packaging that we were and this all evolved very organically nothing was planned we, we never knew we would get into so many products so many variants work with so many farmers address so many customers and this evolvement now has happened to uh, you know this uh, lovely brand identity uh, the brand palette colors which all have taken to so nicely we have been receiving overwhelming response on how the entire packaging is looking we have also tried to include eco friendly sustainable packaging methods in our new form and new avatar and uh, both me and ajinke will take you through you know where and how we have tried to include that i understand becoming a 100% plastic free brand is is a challenge because food items sometimes require some amount of uh, you know uh, packaging that retains the freshness and the characteristics of the product but to a large extent we have managed to shift to sustainable and uh, you know organic means of packaging so uh, today also outdoors, right today also and, is uh, is ashadi ekadashi yeah so today is uh, ashadi ekadashi which is a very auspicious day uh, today is the day where all the varkaris reach pandarpur pandarpur is just a 60 kilometers from our farm and normally at this time of the year we have close to a 300 devotees uh, of a dindi that is run by iskon on the on the farm we host them for a two days and it's a lovely time it's a lovely period they dine with us we celebrate the entire occasion with them but we are missing them uh, in this ashadi ekadashi so we seek the blessings of uh, lord vithal and rukmini uh, they are also known as the gods of farmers in our area out here and with with their blessings we would like to you know get on this new path and journey with our new identity i'll hand it over to ajinkya who will introduce you all to the new brand and uh, you know why these colors and why this uh, entire the philosophy behind the brand super <clears throat> so as you can see the new branding uh, the new palette colors we've tried we've we've intended we've tried to keep it as minimalistic as possible we've tried to declutter what our branding earlier that we had the labels uh, the look and feel of it so we've kept it very simple and we've also tried to depict the process of uh, what goes into making each product so if you look at ghee 
this was the earlier this was the earlier branding it was it was cluttered uh, it was a startup we just started off we then mi we've now migrated to this yeah, we've kept two two color co two color codes out here and we've kept it very simple the brand name out here uh, along with the product name and then the attributes so if the cows are free grazed it's mentioned here if the ghee is handmade it's mentioned here also we've tried depicting what happens at the farms the farm life and the processes behind uh, what goes into making this so it's the ghee cows it's milking by hands it's bilona ghee the landscape at the farms along with this we've also done testing and we've we've given you a qr code uh, this is tested for a number of parameters and according to the us fda norms so intensive testing across many parameters you scan the qr code uh, this will open up to the test report the ingredient facts uh, all the nutritional parameters and yeah the fact that we are farmers by choice uh, you know we are fourth generation farmers and uh, how the farming happens sustainably out here that's mentioned here we have also mentioned the previous uh, brand logo which is amore earth so that people who have been hooked on to that name and identity can identify that is the same brand yet uh there's this also we also have a tamper evident uh, proof a seal a seal so this ensures that the freshness uh that you get is maintained we have done away with the plastic shrink wrap for the new bottles they'll be in effect for another two or three weeks and then they'll be done away with completely this tamper evident seal will uh, give you the confidence that the the product has not been tampered with the freshness is intact and it comes straight from the farm the best thing about the ghee is that it's it's so fresh we don't have any stock that lasts over uh, 10 or 12 days uh, all throughout the year so ajinkya told all about the illustrations the unique illustrations about the ghee i'll take up the jaggery and explain to you all um, about the jaggery yep so uh, this is the new jaggery packaging this is a solid block of jaggery it's a 1 kg block uh, initially we had uh, the 1 kg block which was in this fashion and uh, this is the new this is the new pack so again coming with that same philosophy of decluttering of making it minimalistic of uh, having very little information on this the jaggery pack you know has the brand color green um you know which represents growth and it has an illustration of how the jaggery is made so if you see it's panned out across the box it's you know all hand made in iron wax and kadai and the firewood the sugarcane is hand harvested this is a native variety of sugarcane the variety is 86032 which we grow on the farms it's hand harvested it's crushed the sugarcane juice is boiled over firewood and then the coagulation process starts with you know using lady finger extract as a natural coagulant and then the jaggery is made now we could have made it into you know fancy small blocks and all but traditionally jaggery was made in a lump in a bucket shape or on a square and we kept that rawness we kept that farmer uh, shape to it yet and we are proud of this you know 1 kg block it tastes awesome the texture is amazing i know we have had some problems regarding the fungus on the jaggery but since we do not use any kind of preservative additives those problems will keep coming apart uh, the back of the pack has all the basic information again it has the qr code where the jaggery has been tested for a close to 12 different parameters from a leading german lab and it gives you the trust and confidence of the fact that it doesn't have any kind of chemical and fertilizers and stuff so if you in broadly look at the brand colors we have used largely used two brand colors which is dark maroon and dark green maroon represents the soil the soil that we farm on the soil that is like you know like mother for us farmers and the green represents growth growth that you see growing above the soil you know all the greenery that grows above the soil there's another brand color that we have uh, used in this and the other brand color is a beige color the beige represents unadulterated the beige represents simplicity 
and uh, these are the three largely brand colors that we have used the laddu boxes now come in this lovely sleeve that wraps around the laddu box we have also worked on the laddu box per se so if you open the box this will not come with any uh, wrap on top but when you open the box it's simple we have already made these kind of compartments for the laddus to sit in so that the laddus do not you know change shape now this is some minute attention to detail some details and customer feedback that we had received over the past i think what two years now people were telling us that the laddus were changing shape the laddus do change shape because they have pure ghee the same ghee that we sell as cultured ghee as a part of their ingredients and that's the reason they tend to change shape when they are freely put in a box so we have these lovely compartments made and the laddus kept in the box the box is totally biodegradable it is made with our partner corogami in in pune so this is the same for the gone laddu sattu laddu and til laddus we've also changed the packaging for <clears throat> the groundnut oil so previously when it was in the plastic bottle we've now migrated to a glass bottle <clears throat> again the same the same logic here we've got two colors the green and the process of it being depicted out here uh, the brand name with the product name and then the process of how we make it which is single filtered and it's a native variety of groundnuts so mostly what farmers grow nowadays is the is the advanced variety we've used a native variety here so the native variety grows exactly in the farm out there if you see uh, and if we have time we'll take you to the farm out there in the coconut trees that's where the native variety grows and we process it on the farm itself correct so it's cold pressed and uh, and this is how it in a glass bottle again you have the qr code here we've tested it you can scan the qr code to see the test report the dashparni panchgavya bottles now wear a nice you know look and feel these are inputs that you can use in gardening khapli floors we are growing a lot of khapli at the farms and we stone grounding at khapli packaging it a, packaging it in a environment friendly package like this uh, this is yet a temporary label we have gone in for a customized uh, complete print that will make it easier for us to pack and to identify the uh, the entire packaging so here again the product name along with the variety the attributes of that uh, of that product so it's an ancient variety it's whole wheat it's emma wheat all of it mentioned here so minimal uh, information keeping it simple again the test report you can scan this uh, code and uh, open up to the test report so coming to the honeys uh, this is uh, some of the honeys that we do on the farm this is mono floral acacia flower honey uh, this is again unpasteurized and unprocessed and the honey bottles depict a lovely illustration of the kind of flowers that acacia you know the, the way the acacia flower is and how we go about making or collecting this honey this honey is unpasteurized unheated unpasteur uh, unprocessed unfiltered completely as nature would have it we have given the information in as less words as possible out here the basic nutri nutritional facts are covered out here and uh, the standard information is out here again the honey on top of the bottle you can see the name of the honey it has a tamper evident seal which is un you know uh, once broken cannot be sealed back it it runs into the sleeve of the entire main label so this is the uh, acacia honey i'll show you the other honeys that uh, we have right now so this is this is mustard flower honey and all the honeys are raw as as i told you you will see a depiction of the mustard flower and the way the bees are collecting pollen and nectar from the mustard flower if you saw there is a difference in the illustration of both the mustard and the acacia honey so there is minute attention to detail people who want complete information on how exactly the process is covered and what kind of a flower it is we have tried to depict all that in a very small block of information than and scope that we have had so these are the honey bottles out here uh powders the mukwas again uh, comes in a small little bottle which you can just you know drop in your purse or your handbag if you're traveling this is an excellent product to be had after you know your meals it helps in digestion the 
uh from far what you see is you see two brothers the brand name and mukwas when you come nearer you notice you know what is the speciality it is ai's recipe it is our ai a mother who uh, used to make this for us since we were small and it's her recipe she has helped us make this and then it tells you the other attributes and the beneficial properties of it There's, it's a mouth freshener and after meal digestive so this is the mukwas label again from the top you can see the name clearly evident out here uh, this is uh mainly in the green brand in the green brand color green again represents growth as we told you all coming to the powder packagings we have now we don't have a peel off label on all the powder packagings the powder packagings come in a 3d design completely you know wrap around uh packet kind of a uh, design so from far again you see the brand name and the product name when you come nearer you see how and what are the special attributes of this moringa powder it's naturally dried yes so this is the moringa plants that are growing behind us we naturally dry this these are hand plucked the leaves then we have a natural drying mechanism i was itna gata mod and uh, that's how this is made so it depicts you know a lady harvesting the moringa leaves from here it depicts the drying of the leaves and it depicts them you know crushing the leaf to make the moringa powder so this is as simple as it is this is one of our star products we had worked with holistic nutritionist luke cotino for over a year before we introduced this product and uh, the best thing about this is that we had introduced it i think close to 6 months before covid struck and this is uh, made out of all farmer ingredients that we grow along with our farmers out here and it's processed simply on the farm to give you this powder which naturally enhances your immunity and uh, makes you kind of immune to all the normal viruses and stuff it has ingredients that are grown on the farm this packet design again when you see is a complete designed uh, unit because this was a special powder done with luke and uh, we have a new improved formula we have a new ingredient in this which will again help you enhance immunity and we have mentioned it out here so we have added clove as the latest ingredient the back of the pack has a clean white you know kind of a design it has a yeah <clears throat> so continue with the products showing you the brahmi ghee so all the all the herbal ghees we have again got the red color the soil color and then the cows being depicted here so this is how the herbal ghees look this is the brahmi this being the ashwagandha this being the shatavari and the full moon ghee so we'll take up some questions that we've been receiving since yeah so yeah uh, after the packaging also would like to uh, talk to you all about the new website uh, we cannot show you all the website now but you all can also log in and look at it and many of you all have gone through the website it's www.twobrothersindiashop.com uh, so the website uh, has also been redone uh, to reflect uh, the philosophy of the new branding which is minimalistic which is uh, you know neat and clean and it 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 kind of initially when we launched our initial website we were not very aware of all the technology that goes into uh, doing up a good website and stuff and we had done it both ourselves without any technical help but now we have a fantastic team in terms of unified who has helped us redo the entire website along with the branding and packaging and the website has now has a clean look and feel it loads faster uh, it has a good ui ux uh, for those who know what it means and uh, you know that has that that has that is that will help us to get our stuff our story our philosophy of farming and our products in a better form and format to you all and will also make life uh, you know easy for you all when you all shop on our farmer own website so that's about the website um i think we have nearly covered it all not all the products are out here these are only half the products the other half uh, we couldn't get it to you all today uh, to also tell you about one aspect of the branding you know uh, if you see it has duality everywhere and this is uh you know this is life on the farm it's it's about green it's about black it's about brown you know this duality is what reflects in the branding out here and this duality will somehow 
you know uh, help you all get to that one you know which we all are in pursuit of and uh, that's one of our objectives of doing this kind of farming also is to be with one with ourselves but this duality is projected on the branding everywhere and that's why uh, the main colors you will see is maroon and green you know it also reflects the fact that what we make in terms of products are no doubt very you know uh, tasty if you eat the laddus they are amazing in taste the jaggery is like eating uh, you know it's like eating chocolate but of 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 a very different healthy kind so it has the taste but these elements these this food also has health with it so the jaggery is is very healthy you can never tell anybody stop eating it's not healthy because it's tasty it's not healthy the tilgul laddus you know they are tasty and they are healthy also the honeys are tasty and they are healthy also we have got our honeys tested uh, from germany for uh, you know parameters uh, that are worldwide known the you know many nutritionists many doctors today recommend you not to eat wheat because of the high gluten content and the high glycemic index of wheat but this wheat you know and the product and the branding reflects both it reflects that this is healthy to eat and it's also tasty to eat so this is one of the aspects of uh, the branding also uh, so we have told you about the website do visit it give us your feedback keep your feedback coming in with regards to the packaging the branding the look and feel we are a brand that has you know grown uh, the little that we are because of crowdsourcing ideas from you all we have no access to any r&d lab or you know any high funda setup but every one of you all each one of you all who has felt that you know you all are uh, a part of this brand has helped us uh, come to where we are and because of that we can help many a new farmers and continue this practice of farming so please keep your suggestions coming in we'll keep iterating and changing it uh, on those factors that you feel we have missed out so we'll take up the frequently asked questions and one of these questions is regarding uh, the price which ajing ke will answer what is the new branding so the pricing question is you know has your products got costly so ajing ke can you answer it with this new branding with this new website has the products you know kind of got costly have the mrps increased yeah so uh, this this has been a very costly affair for us starting with the branding the packaging uh, the details into each uh, packaging material uh, it's it's been it's been a cost to us but we've not passed it on uh, to anybody we've absorbed all the costs the prices remain unchanged it is what it was before so the product is the same the price is the same and uh, we've we've rebranded and we've absorbed all the costs super simple so i think the second question is regarding um, the why rebranding so i think i'll i'll take that question uh, so we've been getting this question as to why rebranding your products are good you know we like that uh, why rebranded now uh thank you for that kind of a feedback it, it does make us feel good and give us the energy to keep going on the path that we are that our products are good and you love it but you have been exposed to it you have experienced it and hence you can confidently comment that you know the products are good why rebranding but as farmers we felt that in no aspect should we ever remain uh, less in anything if the products are intrinsically so good you know they should have a lovely outer feel and aesthetic appeal around it and uh you know organically we have had customers now in 45 countries i don't know how the word spread i we never targeted never did any kind of uh, activity to reach so many customers but people have accepted what we were doing and growing and uh, now with the history that we have customers in so many countries we wanted a brand that uh, you know reflected that which which attuned to those customers which attuned to every 50000 of the unique customers that we have and hence the rebranding we don't want to as farmers fall short on anything because the work we do is good both to the soil both to your gut both to your health and to farmers and we want as many as farmers to get benefited we want to turn as much as possible soil into organic we want to benefit the environment benefit your health and for that you know look and feel because the first impression of anybody uh, regarding any product uh, is concluded on the look and feel and you know uh, in no way we as farmers want to fall short of that or look like we don't understand that aspect of uh, you know uh, the entire business business and trade even technology wise there's a lot of technologies that we are imbibing in the entire under structure in the wire frame of uh, the business that we are putting up to help farmers weather stations 
milk collection uh, you know technology uh, even the website will imbibe a lot of technology that will help us customize some offerings to you all and that's uh, you know the answer as to why new branding so guys um, we'll kind of sum this up and um, conclude it keep your feedback coming in uh, thank you for all of you all being a part of this entire story we are more than grateful and in gratitude to the support that we have received from you all and keep the feedback coming keep your orders coming and uh, wish you a lovely happy day it's ekadashi and uh, we all see the blessings of lord vithal and lord rukmini thank you thank you